Let's be real here, not everyone wants to start their own business. Some people just want to make extra cash every single month without having the headaches of starting their own business and the responsibility that comes with that. If you're that person, that's totally fine, as opposed to any other guru on the internet telling you that you should be an entrepreneur and start your own business. If you're someone who's looking to make extra money on the side, whether you want to keep it on the side or transform it into a full-on business, you can. And you can be making 500, 1,000, 5,000, or even $10,000. There's really no limit with what I'm about to teach you. So I'm guessing the reason why you didn't start doing this is because number one, you never heard of it. And number two is because you don't think it's actually possible to make money using this method. But don't worry, it's never too late. You can always start now. And this is something you can really just do on your phone while watching TV, you know? So it's very easy to start. And at the same time, a lot of people are familiar with it. And that is something called Flipping. Flipping basically means you buy things for a lower price and sell them for a higher price. Now, I know you might have heard of it already, but I'm gonna give you some tips in this video you probably have never heard of. So I suggest that you keep watching because this really changed the game for me. I've talked about how at one point I quit my job and I didn't have enough money to pay for rent. And this really helped me pay for my rent for the next few months until I got my situation sorted. And it also helped me make even more money to not just cover rent, but to cover other expenses as well. I know on the internet, this doesn't sound awesome, but it is real life after all. And this is something that we're all facing. And, and hopefully this video can help you achieve what you are trying to achieve. So how do you start with flipping? Well, we've all heard of eBay. We've all heard of Facebook Marketplace. Now I have to mention this as a side note before I proceed. If you're someone who's not living in the US because it's probably easiest to do this in the US because of Facebook Marketplace, eBay, the, the ease of just buying things online here. There's many countries out there where you don't have access to credit cards where the banking system is a nightmare and it's very hard for you to buy anything online but that does not mean it's not possible i personally know a friend who lives in a country where he doesn't have access to a credit card and the banking system is useless and he still managed to buy electronics off of ebay and sell them and make four or five hundred dollar profits per piece of electronic that he sells and honestly that $500 that he made off of one flip which he did multiple of was the equivalent or even more than what people get paid at a full-time job in that country so I know some people are gonna make excuses on why they can't do it and others will find a way to actually do it so hopefully you're on that end and you'll actually find a way to make this work now what should you actually be buying should you buy electronics like my friend did or could you buy other things. So first of all, what I would do is I would look into my interests and what I'm actually interested in, because this would make the journey way more fun. So for example, maybe you're a fan of cars and you're familiar with the car market already. So maybe just start buying cars and flipping them. You can start with $2,000 cars and then slowly up your way to 10,000, 15, $20,000 cars. And maybe every flip you'd be making two, three, 4,000, which is great money even in the US. And if you're someone who doesn't really have an interest or you're unsure of what you can buy, here's what I suggest. There's plenty of garage sales that happen on a daily basis in the US and I'm sure it happens in other countries. My suggestion is go explore them, see what people are selling and maybe you can get to the conclusion that kitchen equipment perform way better than electronics even though we always think that buying electronics is what's going to make us the most money. Maybe buying uh, forks and spoons makes way more money and there's a way higher profit margin there. So you can explore by that or maybe you can find toys, vintage toys that you can buy for five dollars and sell for 50 and you can find 200 of them laying in a box. Gary Vee loves that I know but personally I would look into more expensive items if you have the budget for that. If not then that's totally fine. You can start literally anywhere. I remember I found a whole box of tennis rackets. There was at least for $50 and I sold each for at least $20. So this was a pretty good flip, I would say. So you'd be surprised on what you can find, but ideally you would want to find a market you're actually interested in and somewhat familiar with because this would make your process so much more enjoyable and so much more fun. Now, going back to the example of flipping more expensive items is let's give an example of you buying an iPhone for $800 and managing to flip it for $1,000 and making a $200 profit versus buying a car for $50,000 and selling it for $55,000. Obviously, it's more risk to buy the car for $50,000. But also, if you do that flip once every two months, this is $2,500 per month just off of one flip. Again, I know there's risk to it, but sometimes more risk equals more reward. Guys, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you like it, subscribe to this channel. Now back to the video. Now that you have an idea of how to identify what market you should invest in or what market you should enter to start flipping, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how you can have an unfair advantage against your competitors and how you can actually buy these items on discount 
and sell them for a profit in order for you to start your flipping journey. Number one is the best tip that I have and I will show you guys how to do it is use the eBay sold item filter. So many people have this mis misconception of searching for a watch, for example, and taking a look at what prices it's listed at and deciding that, oh, this is selling for $500, then it must be worth $500. But the keyword here is selling. It's not actually selling for $500. It's listed for $500. Big difference. People want $500 doesn't mean that the market is paying that much for it. So what you should do is scroll down on the left side if you're on your computer and go to the filter that says sold items. Check that box and then you can see these numbers in green which would tell you how much they actually sold for. For example, it tells you this one sold for $200 or X amount of money. And you can also see the date on when this item actually got sold. And then this would give you an idea of how much these are selling for. So let's say you were to find that watch for $100 somewhere and you could tell that people are paying $150 for it, then you can actually sell it for a $50 profit. Same goes with any other item that you you are looking to buy. Number two is an amazing tip that I actually implemented for myself is getting a job in the certain market that you are interested in buying and selling. Another example, let's take a look at cars. If you want to join the car market and flip cars yourself, maybe the best way is to actually get a sales job in the car business. So you actually start knowing the market like the back of your hand. And every time you see a deal online, you can jump on it because you're way more confident in your skills. And what better way to learn a skill than hanging out with experts in the specific field and to learn directly from them about the market. Another market would be, let's say the watch market. If you're interested in buying and flipping watches, maybe getting a job at a watch store is the best way to go, you know, because that way you're consistently talking about watches, you're seeing watches, you're taking a look at the market, what's in demand, what's not in demand, and it definitely gives you an unfair advantage against any other person who's just actually looking to do the flips without knowing the market that much. The third way you can have an unfair advantage, and I think this is by far one of the best, is by investing in education in that certain market. There's plenty of courses online that teach you how to flip watches. There's plenty of courses that teach you how to buy and sell cars. There's probably a course for anything you would like to flip. And I think this is definitely underutilized because if you think about it, let's say you buy a $2,000 course for how to flip watches. One watch you buy can actually make you that money back and more. So don't underestimate the power of you investing in online courses. Now, please don't expect to buy a course and instantly become a millionaire because that's not how it works. We never go to college, take one Spanish course and think we're going to be fluent in Spanish the next day. It's not how it works. It takes time. It takes practice. It takes learning and failing and learning again until you get to that point. And the fourth way you can have an unfair advantage in flipping is investing in software. There are plenty of softwares out there to buy anything. It could be a Chrome extension. It could be a software that gives you what's a fair price to buy this car or that watch or anything. Look for them. You can find them online. Nowadays, if you don't have software, you are really playing at a disadvantage and you're operating at a way slower rate than any person would software would. For example, let's say you have a Google extension that shows you that this watch is at a good price and a fair price to buy this watch would be X amount of money while someone else is going to have to take a look at the swatch, look for it on eBay and take a look at how much it's selling for while you have a plugin that already factors in all the market data and shows you if this is a good price or not. This is one of many, many examples I could give about how software can give you an advantage in something like that. So do not underestimate this. Now, obviously, if you're a beginner, just start before buying these courses. Just try to start before buying the software because obviously you need to start making money with this before you decide that you want to invest any more money into it. So start with this, then maybe invest in education, then invest in software and slowly but truly you will build your arsenal in order to be able to really make this as something that would generate you enough money that if one day you want to make it your business, you can. And if you want to keep it on the side and still have a stable income from your job, that's totally fine as well. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely want as many people as possible to start their own business and to be able to actually have control over their own time. But the truth of the matter is not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone is interested in that. And I totally get it. It doesn't have to be that way at all. But in my opinion, this is an alternative that could be as good as having your own business and it doesn't come with all the responsibilities and all the employees you have to pay. Just you doing your own thing, making money on the side and killing it.